In this tutorial, I will explain how to work with document files in AwareIM, how to upload and download them, view them, edit them, where and how to store them. A document file is any file that you want to store in your application. Quite often it represents a document or a spreadsheet, MS Word document, PDF document, Excel document and so on. But it can also be any other file, a video, an AutoCAD drawing, a visio diagram and so on. In order to store such files in your system, you have to define an attribute of the document type. For many scenarios, this is literally all you have to do, because AwareAIM will automatically provide all the functionality needed to upload the document, store it and view it. Let's implement this simple scenario and then we'll have a look at some more complex ones. We have already covered this scenario in the document templates tutorial, but I will repeat it again here. So here we have an application from the previous tutorials that manages customers. We have a customer object that stores customer name, address and other properties. Let's assume that we would also like to store a short biography of a customer, represented as some document file, in either PDF, MS Word or text format. So I will add an attribute of the document type called bio. You see that by default the document will be stored in the database. I will now add this document to the editing form. And we're done. Let's see how this works in the browser now. So I put the version under test and log into the browser. Here I already have some customers. So I open the form of the first customer and here I see the buyer control which allows me to upload a document to the database. Let's do it. So I select a file and save the form and now I can see my document already uploaded to the database. If I click on the document, the browser will open the viewer for this file type, in this case the PDF viewer. If there is no viewer for the file, the file will be downloaded. You can also upload a different file if you click on this icon here, or you can delete the document altogether by clicking on the cross icon. And note also that you can drag and drop a file into this area here to upload it. So just by adding an attribute of the document type to an object, we can upload, view and download any files to our database. Let's see what else we can do with attributes of the document type. If we don't want to store documents in the database, we can store them in a file system on the server. In order to do this, we must first define an attribute in the object that will store the full path of the file on the server. The value of this attribute will determine where the file will be stored. So we add the attribute called file path to the object And then we go to our document attribute buyer and select the stored in file system radio button. And then we specify the file path attribute as an attribute where the file path will be stored. We also need to define a business rule that will calculate the path of the document and put it into the file path attribute. Let's say that we will store all our documents 
in the ctemp CRM docs directory. To make sure that the file name is unique, we will assign full customer name as the name of the file and keep the extension of the document as the extension of the file. So our rule will look like this. If customer path is undefined, then we'll calculate customer file path as the name of the folder, then customer first name and customer last name, and then we use file extension function to get the extension of the bio attribute. Let's see how this works. So I log into the application again. Let's go to the form of the second customer and upload a document into the bio attribute. Then when we save the form, we can go to the file system and we see the document stored there in the file system. What if we want to modify the document file? The simplest approach is to download the document, then open it using the appropriate editor, for example MS Word if this is a Word document, and then upload the document back to the database or the file system. However, there is also another way that is appropriate for certain types of documents. That is, edit the document in place using powerful editors provided by a popular web application called Zoho. Zoho editors support many different kinds of documents – Word, Excel, PowerPoint, OpenOffice, HTML and others. To enable document editing using Zoho, you have to create a free account in Zoho and then go to this URL to generate an API key for your application. Then you need to enable Zoho editing for the attribute of the document type. I have already created an account with Zoho and I have the API key. So I will go to the presentation options of the document attribute and I will tick the Allow Viewing Editing Document in Zoho checkbox. Then I click on Settings and paste my API key. Let's see how this works. So we log into the application again. Let's upload some document that Zoho can edit, for example a Word document. Now when we save the form, we can see a little edit icon here. When we click on this icon, we can now edit the document in place using, using Zoho Editor. When we save the document using this icon, the changes will be automatically uploaded to the database. Note that in order for this to work, you have to be running your application on a real server with a proper internet address. Working on your local machine will not work, so you cannot use local host or your local network address. If you do, you can view the file but you cannot save the changes. I am running now from my local network address, so save will not work for me. When we work with document attributes, we can only upload one document into the attribute. If we upload another document, the previous one will be replaced. What if we want to upload multiple documents? Of course we could have multiple document attributes and upload documents one by one. But it is too tedious to do this. We would have to open a file selection dialog multiple times. It would be much easier to open the file dialog once select multiple files and upload them at the same time. Well, AwareAIM allows you to do this, of course. Probably the simplest and most flexible way to do this is using a process. This has been implemented in the Photo Album Sample application, 
where the user can upload multiple photos to an album. Let me show you. So here I'm logged in the photo album sample application. On the left there is a list of albums for the selected author. I will select the personal album, which is initially empty, and I will upload several photos at once to this album. So I click the bulk upload button, and then click select files, and here I can select multiple images at once by using shift and control button. So let me select a few. These three for example. Click open and the files have already been uploaded. So when I click submit, these three files are added to the album. Let's see now how this has been configured. The idea is that you write a process that assumes that the context has multiple instances of the special predefined object called file, file item. The context is automatically populated by where I am during my multiple file upload. Each instance of the file item object represents a file that the user has selected during multiple file upload. In the photo album application, this process is called upload multiple photo. Let's have a look at it. So here we can see that it creates a photo object for each file item and adds it to the album. The file item object has the doc attribute of the document type and the value of this attribute stores the file that the user has selected. So here we initialize each instance of the photo object with the file that the user has selected. The only other thing to do is mark the operation that starts the process as an operation that implements multiple file upload. The operation that starts this process is on the image gallery form of the album object. Let's have a look. So here we have the form and I go to the panel operations of the items attribute and here we have the bulk upload operation. If we look at it, we can see that implements multiple file upload checkbox is ticked. That's how a where I am knows that it should start the multiple file upload user interface and then call the process.